I thought I'd take you through some of the features of my observatory. It's quite a unique design. It's a design I call a Crayford type roll off roof. It consists of two ordinary garden sheds. The smaller one is 6x6 six six, and the larger one was an 8x8 eight eight shed that I reduced down to 7x7. Seven seven. Both sheds were the same height but adding the rolling mechanism to the larger shed raised it about 6 inches so that it would slide over the smaller shed. Both sheds inside are lined this helps increase the rigidity because they're not very expensive sheds and the um, smaller shed is a warm room so it's uh, also insulated and decorated nicely. Here you can see me opening the observatory. First you open the hatch this allows the top half to pass past the telescope and then you slide the roof over the warm room. You can see that it only takes a few seconds to do. Closing the observatory is the same but in reverse. This is a view from the warm room of the observatory opening. Things worth noting are the gutter downpipe which moves with the top of the observatory and how the back of the observatory is sealed from the weather. The warm room extends about 6 inches inside the observatory. This helps protect it from um, wind pushing water into the observatory. And I've not had any leaks, at least not yet. From inside the observatory you can see how the latch automatically locks in place when the observatory is closed. Also note the dowel in the corner which stops the observatory from being lifted off when the observatory is closed. This is more for wind protection than security but it acts well for both. I use the same latches for the hatch and the principle is the same. When the hatch is closed it is automatically locked. This makes it really simple to keep secure. I hope this provides you with some inspiration for your observatory and that you can see the utility of combining a roll off roof with a warm room. I've left some links in the description for more details and more photos. Feel free to leave comments, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.